Dave Palumbo here with Muscle Serpents University, and we're back at Manny Frey's breeding facility, Perfect Predators, to talk about another exciting boa morph, the IMG. Pete Call produced the first IMG, or increasing melanistic gene, boa constrictor, by accident in his breeding facility back in the mid-2000s. What he discovered was that snakes containing the IMG gene, as they aged, accumulated increasing amounts of the black pigment known as melanin, increasing their black coloration. Today, the IMG gene is one of the most sought after in the boa constrictor trade, being bred into just about every gene combination, including albinos. Check out the various morphs that Manny Freight has used the IMG gene with in his very successful breeding program. All right, now, man, I know this is an IMG. What is? Is there anything else in this snake? Well, uh, I thought she was uh, het anery and het albino. Yeah. It was possible for both, not for both. And then she bred and she proved out het for albino, but not for anery. So that's the only thing else. It's wow! Look at that. Look at the, that's increasing melanistic gene boa. That's IMG for short, and that is just a, a spectacular looking animal. Do you notice that these these IMGs are a little uh, on the the nastier side? You know what, I've noticed that, but uh, I also noticed that if you give him a little little bit of food and every now and again, you know, my helper, you know, he'll move him from one tank to the other, and I guess he'll just get used to being grabbed. I wouldn't say let's wrap, wrap her around my neck unless we're in the South Beach. <laughs> you know what I mean? She, we have one at home who's, you know, if she's in a good mood, she's in a good mood. If she's not, you know, she might try to take a bite of you. I, I've heard that. And I <laughs> They're a gorgeous it. animal. Though. What, have you, what are you breeding this to right now? Uh, I bred her last year to a uh, snow motley. And they produced uh, albino motley IMGs and motley. Oh, IMGs. that's nice. But you nothing know, was born snow. Nothing. No, because she's uh, not anery. Okay, well. But anyway, well, well, now that I know she's not anery, I know where to go with it. So I'll try to make sun glows out of her or something like that. Is that what you? Yeah. yeah. Now the sun glow, the albino will take the black out, but it, it enhances the reds in there, right? Oh yeah. In fact, I have a sun glow. If you want to pause for a second, I'll bring it. Yeah. All right, what is this, Manny? Now this is the IMG, like the one you see in there, the the adult you see in the tank, but this has hypo and albino in it. All right, so what people have to understand is that the, the increasing melanistic gene is in here. It's just that they remove the black because it's okay. albino, but, but all this is totally enhanced. Right. It, it brought out color in one sense. It took out the black, and then it has hypo, which takes out the black a second mm, time. True. But it brings out, the hypo brings out some reds. How will this look, you think, as it gets older? Will it get darker? I'm hoping it becomes like a solid orange. That like, you know how crazy. they get solid black? Yeah. This should get solid orange. Okay. Now, would this, wouldn't this just be darker? These, the saddles would get, be darker than the rest of the snake, but the rest of it should get redder too, right? I mean, Orange. here's the thing. When that animal was a baby, it had saddles. It did. And, and now they're gone. Wow. Mostly gone. So I'm hoping this goes away too, but in, it goes, instead of, instead of fading to black, it fades to orange. So you haven't seen an IMG albino yet get to large size? I have not. I know they're out there. I just, the photos are very hard to come across and then... I believe there's sun glows also with size. We've seen a moon glow at Pete Carl's that was IMG. It right. was completely white. Cool. Because it was just, you know, whited out, I guess. Did he have a sun glow? No, I did not see, see a sun glow. See, that's what I mean. I so mean, this is, you this hear about they're out there, I've just never seen them. Yeah. Now, I have an IMG sun glow VPI, mm -hmm. but I, I don't want to base it up based on that. This, like, is, this is more this of the, is the, 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 T, the T minus. Yeah, yeah, the T minus. Okay, well, let's, let's see how this grows. You, yeah. We'll have to follow this. This is a different type of boa constrictor. This right. is a boa constrictor constrictor. Yes. Or as Vin Russo would say, they're reclassifying it. They're just going to call it boa constrictor now. Did oh, you know that's that? great. And they're going to call the other boas the boa imperata. Oh, okay. Imperata. Explain what this is. Well, uh, breeders out of the West Coast near where you guys live, uh, Gulf Coast Reptiles, they, they um, bred a Surinamese boa constrictor constrictor, true red tail, to a Colombian uh, uh, hypo. Right. And they produced this one. And she's in, in shed now, but look you can still see the wine red. Yeah, look at that tail. On here. I love the way these highlights, you know, happen around the She's a big snake. She's a big snake. I mean, this is about as big as you'll see a snake from me. Okay, so you, you keep yours relatively small. Yeah. And you say they breed better when they're a little small. I've had better success. The males don't have to wrestle them too badly and, and, mm. and fight their way to get them, get them to, you know, go. So. And you don't see a tail like that. That's got to be the constrictor, constrictor influence. Oh, yeah, influence. that tail has to be all constrictor, constrictor. I, always I mean, one. that's a true red tail, as you like to say, red tail boa. Yeah. Although there's hypo in here from the Colombian line. Yes, yes. 
So what would you but breed I've, something I've, like this I've too? I've made a lot of hypos and none of them look like this. And, and again, this animal's in shed. Um, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> so you, Amazing. you'd be surprised what that looks like when that is it harder to breed something like this because it has the constrictor constrictor in it I, everyone I says believe it's so hard. she gave me a litter in 11 and she hasn't produced for me again okay so it, it is like is 40, it luck 48 months is it luck or is it what is it i don't know it? this year i'm just gonna run a, a, a daisy daisy brain of males through her see which one can get the job done I anything you. i can get out of her with her colors will, i'll be fine with whether it be a hmm. this pattern or that pattern or this caramel or interesting yeah gorgeous animal though very different but i'm getting frustrated four years later still hasn't produced another and she had a perfect litter no slugs i'm like yes i got a winner. unbelievable